Christmas. It's Ava. And Ava. <laughs> it's two minutes before Christmas and we're shopping. Woo! Go ahead and show the traffic. So the traffic is really, really bad. We're actually at a green light and we're not moving. So, but we're last minute Christmas shopping because what else are we gonna do? She called me and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. She's like, what are you doing later? Nothing. Do you wanna go shopping? Yeah. Is that even a question? So we're this here. This is like our eighth in a row. I think I've actually been shopping every single day since break started. Yeah, we also live like a minute apart, so it's kind of like convenient that like she- It's actually like 47 me. seconds. So she timed it this time, guys. The last time, remember we timed it together. We are like, <laughs> But um, we have some returns. I'm gonna shop for my sister and I'm shopping for my brother. It. I'm actually returning my <laughs> I'll see you at yeah. the mall. Rockstar parking Woo! as fuck. We did it. We did it. We, we did, did it. Yeah. Kelly Seema, we did it. You're not gonna believe who's working. We have a follower, a subscriber. I forgot to ask your name, but if you're the girl in Cotton On, I literally adore you. So I think we're a little packing in here. We're in Champs and we're trying to shop for my brother right now. Like he's kind of like um, itty bitty. Okay, so I got my sister some stuff and my brother at Champs. Now we're in Urban and I see this and I want it. I want it really bad, but when would I ever wear it? After sitting here right now, and I have two things I'm trying on. But I'm trying them on to get for my sister, and if I like them on me, then I'll like them on my sister. You feel? Because she's pretty similar in like top size, like bust size, and everything. So I like it because if it fits me, I'll fit her, and then I get to steal it. Am I toxic? Maybe a little bit, but we don't need to talk about it. Santa, I love you. We were just in the busiest Sephora I think I've ever seen it. Hey guys, we're shopping for my grandpa because um, I kind of forgot. Grandpa Ray, I know you have expensive taste, and I know I have expensive taste, but I didn't know our taste was so expensive together. I'm just kidding. It's 145, but still, like you get some. Get him a golf shirt, definitely. Wait, that's actually so cute. It's 115. 115. So guys, Old Navy or golf shirt? Like, what are we feeling? Cool. I'll get back to. So we just got back from the mall. We're in the car. That was pretty quick too. That was like a two it hour. It was a really successful shopping trip, I would say. Oh, my fault. I'll try my best. Good. Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> For last minute Christmas gifts, which I'm normally pretty last minute on everything, I think I did really good. We're gonna start at Sephora. I said I didn't get anything for me, but I actually did get three things for me at Sephora and one thing for my sister. So if any of my family members are watching this right now, this is the time where you Click off. But the three things for me, I got the Tribe the Wow Dream Coat Hairspray. I heard about this in TikTok, super good, but I didn't want the full one because it's expensive. Then I got the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel in the shade oh, Solo. And I got the Claud Claudie Beauty Elixir Glowing Skin Care Spray. From Sephora, I also got the same thing. It's a Christmas gift though. And then I got a lip liner, but I don't feel like digging through that big, so. And then for my sister, I got her the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, but I'm also gonna use this for myself because Loki, why the hell was it $38? <laughs> Hopefully this will be good, guys. I'll let you know um, in future vlogs. From Urban Outfitters, I got two things. No, three things, actually. First up, this is the one thing. Okay, I did get one more thing for me. I got this. <laughs> Sorry, it was on sale. They were 50% off their own sale. Good girl. They need to up their employee game. They are all so rude. Urban Outfitters workers, stop. I got this little button up long sleeve. It's cropped and so Then for my sister, I got her this out from under, like long sleeve. Out from under? Look at this car. dumbass car. What are they doing? Look at this car. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can we show it? This is the intersection. Wait, I don't know if you can see it. This car is literally just sitting here. They're gonna put their bleaker on and try and get over. Yeah. No one's gonna no look one, over either. I hope no one. Also from um, Urban Outfitters, I got this hand cream. She looks absolutely beautiful. Let's like, try her out, shall yeah. we? No, I love the Coco Loco, whatever the fuck. Late day Coco scent. Mmm, oh. that feels so good. Do you want some? Yeah. Ooh, it's like thick. I was expecting it to be liquidier. She's kind of nice though. I was gonna put her in my car. Mmm. Mmm. 
my hand. God, smell. Okay, me and Ava discovered this underground place today. Body shop. And we really like it. It's so yeah. good. And speaking of the body shop, yeah, we'll just, oh, we both sh got something. Um, I got this body bristle brush, like a dry brush. Can you do this before your shower? You dry brush your skin and it gets all the dead skin off. Heard really good things about this. And the ones on Amazon are like 22 bucks. This was only 12. So I think me and Ava both got this. I got two of these. Because they're for both my grandmas. They're only $5. $5 for this. 96 hour nourishing moisture shea body butter. And then it's also a shower gel. She got two. I got one. $5 They're for this. so cute. I got this for my grandpa's girlfriend. Then from Champ, I got my brother a matching Nike set. Got him a black hoodie and then black sweats. Just like the standard ones. And then I also got my sister a white Nike zip up. And like then from matching. Nordstrom, I got my grandpa this like. Show it. How it, it's, you? it's all boxed up because oh, yeah. they wrapped it. Um, I got him a quarter zip that was so overpriced, but like he gives me so much. I feel like and he's so overpriced. He's always there for me, so I thought my grandpa really deserves it. So I bought him like a hundred and like forty-five dollar t-shirt quarter zip, <laughs> and then a hundred and twenty-eight dollar golf polo that's orange. The quarter zip is gray. The golf polo is so cute though. Like I could so see him wearing that. Cause me and Grampy golf a lot. But yeah, that's my haul, guys. Thanks for coming along to the mall. I'm gonna go home and wrap some presents. I finished my wrapping. See you when I get home. Deuce. It's time to wrap some presents. I decided to bring out the Christmas PJs for this occasion because I think it just suits the vibe best. I literally have so many gifts and it's now Christmas Eve. Well, almost Christmas Eve. I have an hour left till the clock strikes in the night and we need to get wrapping. I have wrapping paper. Our family does like a blue theme. So I got this one and this one. I also got plenty of boxes. Of course, tape and then scissors. And then the gifts are all back there. And while I'm wrapping all these gifts, I'm gonna talk about my life, give you a little chit chat and an update on everything. I know a lot of you guys have so many questions. So let's get into it. If you don't already follow my Insta, make sure you do because I put a poll on there where I asked you guys some questions and now I'm gonna be answering them. But first, my phone is gonna die. The first gift I'm wrapping is my sister's and what I love doing is taking all the different like gifts I got her and putting them in different boxes so she feels like she got more. So I'm putting this shirt in one along with her favorite candy. The first question is what are my favorite stores or like what's my favorite place to shop at? Where's the tape? Where did I literally just put it? I'm also not very good at wrapping presents, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do your best. I would say my favorite places to shop right now are Abercrombie. I also like Anthropology, Urban Outfitters. I think they also kind of have um, their moments where they absolutely suck. But considering I got my sister's Christmas gift from Urban Outfitters, they don't suck that bad. I like Princess Polly. Where else do I shop from? Maxon. You guys always ask where my clothes are from. So I would just like to say I do have an LTK. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a platform where I'm able to take pictures of my outfits and then link them from the websites they're from, like the exact products I'm wearing. And that way, you guys can stay updated on my fit. I'll have it linked in the description of this video. I always do have it linked, but a lot of you guys don't know about it. And that's where you can find all my outfits. Next question is favorite ice cream flavor. I feel like this is, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mint chocolate chip. I'm a mint girly for life. I think it's so bomb. It's so good. I'm 18 years old and I'm currently in my senior year right now, but I recently dropped out of high school, which is or was a big decision for me and something that not many people really understand why I did that. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and get straight into that because pretty much every single question on my Instagram is about either what I'm doing now that I'm not in high school or just kind of asking to explain why I did it and how I'm handling it and kind of just what I went through. As a teenager in a private small high school. You private school girlies, we know what's going on. It's not good. Okay, so if I'm gonna be so honest, my camera um, wasn't recording the whole time. I was just explaining all that. So that's awesome, perfect. Long story short, I'm so thankful for the support that has been going through my TikTok because I announced this originally on my TikTok. And for the people that judge without knowing someone's situation, I really highly recommend not just sitting there and like saying, oh, you shouldn't do that. Like you're never gonna get anywhere because you don't know where I'm coming from and kind of what I've gone through. So that's why I'm here to explain. Oh my gosh, look 
low-key i'm taking this off now and i'm like liking it better so we're just gonna like keep it like this basically as we all know school is stressful nobody likes school and i'm not here to just single myself out and say that oh you can just drop out and just like give up because i'm not a quitter and i don't want to just sit here and kind of cater to myself because i 100 percent know that school is so important i started senior year super happy super good and then i just kind of plummeted school got harder and whatnot first of all my english class is insane they make you write 38 page research essays it's specifically supposed to be harder than a college course and i was dying like i'm not kidding you not only was school work hard and seasonal depression was hitting, I felt like I was getting like almost targeted as my success grew like on YouTube. And I came into my senior year with a lot more followers than I did my junior year. And so automatically I felt like I was getting trashed on. People were being fake towards me. There were sad comments, there was jokes, there was backhand compliments. People are mean. And when you're getting treated like this every single day, I think the people that have gotten bullied understand. And my private Christian school doesn't do anything about it. I'm not here to bash my school in any way or the people at my school. People just really need to learn how to be nice. And I'm gonna say it straight up because as much as I don't wanna sit here and say, oh my gosh, the people at my school drove me out of my school what do they expect like they're gonna sit there and seriously bring me down and talk about me while i'm in front of their face sitting in front of them it, it was a lot like i didn't go in detail on this on my tiktok but i'm here telling you guys the full on truth of what i went through at my school i would come home not have any energy for anything i felt like i just wanted to sleep i wasn't doing my homework grades are plummeting on top of already having hard classes and then on top of all this i felt like i didn't want to do youtube anymore and youtube is the one thing that i had passion for i love making videos for you guys i love to know that you guys watch my life and you're here for me and i feel like every time i'm talking to myself like right now i'm on facetime with you guys you're my best friends i say this all the time on my tiktok lives i actually love you guys and when i felt like i was losing that spark again kind of how i did when i was in my sophomore years of high school i've almost been doing my channel for four years but when i started feeling like my sophomore year of high school i knew like i needed a change and to top it all off guys i only need one credit to graduate my school is the most required credited school aka like they require the most credits in the state of washington in order to graduate and it's not even like a smart person school like it seriously just requires like an extended insane amount of credits to graduate and in the state of washington you need 24 credits so basically i only needed an english class and can i remember like two seconds ago when i was saying my english class is insane at my school first of all first first present done yay oh my gosh this looks so good good job ava but when you only need one single credit to graduate your senior year you're getting treated like trash and you feel like you can't do the one thing that matters to you and is actually gonna get you somewhere which is you guys by the way i'm so thankful for the opportunities you guys give me like I knew I needed to get out of that school. I mean, I went on vacation for my Thanksgiving break and I try so, so hard to not let these people get to me. Ugh. We're rocking the next gift, by the way. Ugh, what is that? Ew! But I went on Thanksgiving break and I did a TikTok live. Okay, I like to talk to you guys, so obviously I'm gonna do TikTok live. I do it on my spam TikTok account because my main is banned from it, sadly. But people from my school joined. I was seriously just getting ready and all of a sudden I see my phone number leaked in the chat of the live. It was leaked to people at my school and honestly, I just didn't know people could go that low, but it's like girls it's gotten lower since i've honestly dropped out i knew in that moment that i didn't want to go back to school after my thanksgiving break and see those people ever again i felt going to school was bringing so much negativity in my life every single day i felt a change in myself these people were not gaslighting me but making me question my own character and i was like i know i'm a good person but what these people are saying about me is like actually making me go insane so with the help of jen my mom love her to death she has seen me struggle at this school for years and years and years i've gone through the same thing for so long it just got extremely worse my senior year she said ava i'm not letting you go through this anymore I wanted to get out of my school my junior year of high school, but I stuck it through because I'm just like, I want to graduate. I want to earn this stuff myself and I want to show myself that I can do this, but it was so bad. My mom could see it. My grandpa literally saw it. He was like, Ava, you're different. You could see it in my face how mentally exhausted I was. And people were seeing it that I was miserable. I don't think these girls and these guys that were 
awful to me understand the extent of how awful they are to other girls not just me and that sucks i wish the best for them and i hope that they can have a good life and they can learn to be nice to people in this moment the main reason i dropped out of school was not only because i only needed one credit duh like why be in school but also for myself like for my mental health and i went to school one last day after thanksgiving break because i wanted to like I don't know, experience it one last time and be like, wow, this is my last history club. And then I got unenrolled and I'm out. And I seriously have never felt happier. My sister still goes to the school and it sucks because it's a very connected small school. And my sister is now getting targeted saying, why did your sister do this? She's this, she's that. Like you're just going to fall on her footsteps. People make fun of my sister. I love her to death, but there's seventh graders following in these awful seniors footsteps in the cycle of bullying is awful and i wish i could do something about it i really do but i've gotten bullied my whole life and i like the only thing left for me to actually do without totally draining myself out was to drop out of school and i'm not giving up i am doing online starting in january with some college course classes as well but what also sucks is the fact that it's literally gotten worse too the other day my house had a attempt at egging um i've gotten toilet papered it felt like every time i would stand up for myself or just not talking let them not get to me there was always something that they were saying about me whether it was i'm a bitch or i'm this i'm that sorry for my language it was just never ending and i really hope the best for my sister too because i don't want her going through the same thing i did and it feels like it's already starting for her because i started this school and seventh grade it's just an awful environment because the school doesn't care as much as i went to the school and got people in trouble they still do it and i think it's kind of the privileged environment a private school has give me a second i'm actually gonna cut the paper but yeah that is the in-depth reason of why i dropped out of high school and i hope that makes sense because i seriously love you guys and i'm now fully able to focus on what i love which is making videos for you guys so subscribe if you're not already and merry freaking christmas guys it's literally christmas i'm so excited and my christmas haul is gonna be up soon well it's christmas eve i've been like talking for like a whole hour it's been so long low-key that is kind of just like the full rundown of my life recently um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video merry christmas eve for the last time i love you all with my whole heart i hope you get everything that you wanted for christmas and more you are the best christmas gift that i could ever receive i'm so thankful for you i'm so thankful for jesus and what he's blessed in my life and i love you all so much thanks for watching Peace out.